All right, so I'm shooting this intro a little bit wider than usual. Why? Because I have a lot of stuff to show. I have a Paul C. Buff Link strobe number one. I have Link number two. I have battery number one, battery number two, battery charger, and two power cords. Now, what do you do if you want to have like a nice little case, a protective case, either on the go or in your studio to protect it all? Well, I found a perfect option for me. Maybe it'll work for you, and uh, it's coming up next. Hey there, it's Mike here from Mike McGee Photography. Uh, why am I kind of standing slash squatting, I guess? Well, uh, as promised, I'm gonna show you a case solution that I bought for my two Paul C. Buff Link strobes. Um, it's heavy, it's kinda big, so I gotta kinda stand anyway. So here we go, Oh, all right, oh boy. All right, so what solution did I go with? Well, I went with a Pelican 1440 case. Let me turn it around so you can see the little label on there. Now, this is a top loader. Um, some people might go with more of like a suitcase flat loading style. Eh, you know, again, works for you, that's great. I'm just showing you what I went with. I kind of like the idea of a top loader. Uh, for my Einsteins, I've always held them in a Pelican case as well where they're facing up so that it displays on the bottom in a nice padded orientation. You can kind of stack feels like you can stack more versus if you just held them on their sides. Um, so I went with the same solution for the link. Now, what does it look like inside? Well, I will flip this around. By the way, it's a top loader, so what's kind of nice is it has wheels, has a retractable little pulley system. It's got handles on every side. I mean, maybe you can pull it, get two people so you can get you might need two people. This is a pretty heavy item when you have two of these plus the batteries and the charger. But you got handles coming out of every way, shape, or form. And uh, so let's see what's inside. I'm going to pop this guy open. And I'm going to just first kind of angle it, hopefully. See, I'm trying to show it and also stand at the same time. So inside, I went with a vertical orientation for both of the strobes. I just wrapped the cords right around the top. and. Um, Right smack dab in the center is the battery charger with both batteries attached. So that way you get to have everything you need for two strobes. And um, what I'll do is I'll give you some tips on how I went about it because it's it's a little bit uh, not tricky, but you want to kind of have some foresight. You want to kind of think ahead so that uh, it all fits in nicely like this. Again, this is my solution. If you have a better one or if you don't want to go with this, no worries. Uh, I'm going to dump the power cords because they're the easiest to kind of understand and then I'll show you another angle. Let's see. All right, so what I did was when you get the when you get this top loader with the foam, this is once again the Pelican 1440 and I bought this with my own money. I don't work for Pelican. They didn't give me anything. Um, it's just Pelican cases are like the gold standard as far as I'm concerned for any sort of photo gear. So uh, when you get the, the case itself, the foam goes all the way up to the top. Now, if you can see, there's like probably, eh, I'm going to say like a three to four inch gap that I have where it has no foam because you don't really need it going all the way up to the top. And then it's so recessed that you can't even get a grip on the on the strobes itself. Plus this has some foam, so when you slam this down and lock it in place, it's more than secure. So I like to leave like a nice little three or four inch gap. So that top piece of foam, I just pull out and I don't discard it because I usually use it for other purposes, but I just, I'm not gonna use it for this particular solution. So we have both strobes. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these guys out and maybe I'll pull it out on camera. I just don't want to drop it making the video. That'd be pretty bad. But it actually, I mean, these are really secure and you can almost hear it. It's, it's like, it's, you know, it's it's got protection on all sides. So really, it's almost like a little tiramisu <laughs> kind of vibe where it's not one giant piece of foam. It's sections of foam that sort of uh, lay on top of each other. So the top one, like I said, I just discarded for this purpose. Then the next one, which is my version of the top, ends up looking like this, and you're gonna punch it all the way through. You're going to, well, if, again, if you follow my solution, I made a cutout that looked like this. How did I come up with this template? Well, I just kind of jammed the, 
the back and just gently kind of pushed on the back of the link, put it into the initial foam, and then where I could see where it has tiny little squares that you can just punch out. It's that pull and pluck kind of foam that they make for, um, for uh, Pelican cases. And so you just want to get it nice and even and you just want to pop it out all the way through. So to help you, if you want to do this exact same orientation because it's pretty symmetrical and spot on, is that from the top, it's going to be two squares from the top. That's where I started and I started three squares from the sides. So it worked out perfectly where it just happened to magically fit where there's, so there's two squares, a row of two squares and then a row of three squares on each side if you want to match the same uh, layout. So first one discarded, second one you punch it all the way through. Third one, you also punch it all the way through. Boop, boop, punch. And the other section you're gonna pop out is that middle section. Now the middle section, again, it's just almost the exact size of the battery, maybe a tad larger. And I started the middle section three squares in from each side. So it's three squares. The width of this is three squares and three squares. So maybe that will help you to find that same orientation. Top or bottom doesn't really matter if you're a little higher or a little lower, it's fine. But so the first two, popped them all the way out. Now, this is kind of a crucial little tip, so to speak. What you wanna do is on this bottom piece, it's another piece that you're gonna pull out and I'll pull it out for you, hang on. It's kind of hard to get to, one sec. But now this bottom piece, this is the last piece of foam, the major piece of foam that's on the bottom. I actually did not punch it all the way through. If you punch it all the way through, you're gonna essentially end up on, on the bottom with a thin, thin, tiny piece of foam that they put at the bottom, this little guy, and then it's hard plastic. You wanna avoid that, right? You want a nice amount of padding on the bottom so that it really protects the face of the link. So instead of punching it all the way through, what I did was I just sort of did that same little cutout and maybe only took off about a half inch down and then pushed it down, pushed it down and then just sort of like just kind of ripped a little bit out but really it just kind of compresses if you just start jamming it down but I just used like a Swiss Army knife and just cut around the edge about a half inch so that it just gave it enough to kind of push it in but that way it doesn't go all the way through and you can see it kind of bulges out a little bit but that's good because you want that extra really solid piece of foam that's going to protect these guys because they're expensive and you want to protect it. So I'm going to put this back in place. So that goes back in place like, like so. This guy goes back in place like so. And one of the cool things was I thought about how I was going to put the batteries and I was like, okay, well, if I, I originally was just going to put the batteries, just put them in two slots or whatever, but it's long and it's a top loader. It's kind of deep. So actually the battery charger itself, since it locks both of these in, it's kind of perfect. It works, you have that space in the middle and that allows you to put both batteries as well as the charger. And then you can also, more importantly, pull them out because if you put these fairly small batteries and they just dip deep inside, you're gonna be trying to fish it out and that's not really a good solution. So let's see what we got. So I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna put that back in. So I'm gonna get link number one on the left. Link number two on the right. And really, and then you just slide this guy in and put this guy in in the middle. And again, you're gonna have both strobes in like this and then you can just wrap that front cord around. So that's my solution. This is the Pelican 1440. Uh, once again, Pelican's not paying me for this. This is my own money. Uh, Paul C. Buff's not paying me for this. In fact, I didn't even buy this on Amazon. I couldn't find it. So I bought this case direct from Pelican on their website. Uh, it was like 205 bucks. Uh, and I think if you sign up for their newsletter, you get 10% off. So uh, take advantage of that. It's free shipping. Uh, it took only like three days to get to me in California. Uh, may take longer in other parts of the country, but um, that's my solution. So it uh, works great, has a nice little gap on top. You could probably even throw in some little, I don't know if you ever have like uh, some CyberSync. You don't really need a CyberSync receiver for this because they're built in, but if you ever had some little tethering cable, something like that, I don't know. Um, there is some gaps in there where you can shove some more cords. So again, 
that's the solution I went with. Hopefully this helps you. And uh, if you need a protective case, it's a pretty good one. So uh, that's all. Uh, if you liked the video, please click like and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.